size four sabiki. It got the green and the red hooks on it. So I'm going to be using that. And once again, guys, size four tsunami sabiki. When you turn it to the back, you're going to see one clip that's open. It's called a snap swivel. That's the sinker side. And then you're going to see a regular swivel, just like this one. And that's the rod side. So you take your main line from your rod and you thread it straight through just like that and you tie it on whatever knot you choose make sure it's secure just like that y'all I'm gonna lubricate that and I'm gonna pull my knot tight I'll get rid of that tag end later the tag end would be this extra slack in the line after the knot that's the tag end grab my sinker this sinker right here happens to be a half ounce egg sinker if I need more weight I'll go up meaning increase the size I got this gnarly diesel truck behind me sorry about the noise y'all I'm trying to get do this and show you guys this before I get up there today I'm at Dana up here catching bait that's why I'm going to show you guys how to use a sabiki rig to do so so I just put that sinker on there now I'm going to just clip it on bam just like that now I'm going to remove it from the packaging completely See, I was keeping it in the packaging at first. I'm going to remove it completely now. And then I'm going to start removing these hooks one by one, slowly. Just like that, y'all. Just like that. And that's the first step in how to catch bait, guys. That's how to rig the sabiki. Just like that. All the way to the end. And then remember, on the other end, it should have your sinker. Bam. Just like that, guys. Now I got my hooks, my sinker, everything's ready to rock. Really quick, I'm going to show you guys how to store this thing. What you want to do is drop it down as much as you need to to be able to reach the handle. So I need a little bit more, and then I'm going to bring it around the handle just like that one or two times. Just like that, and now it's ready to rock. It's not going to tangle. I could carry it amongst my other rods and when I'm ready to use it, you'll see it when I get on the bridge again, but I'll just unwrap this and now it's free. So what you want to do is wrap it again one, two times guys. I'm going to do it three times this time because I got a lot more slack out, but that's all you need to do. That's how you rig the sabiki. Now I'm going to take this up here and try to catch me some pilchard, sardine, goggle eye, blue runner, whatever bait I can for the week. So stick around y'all. Alright y'all. Like I said over there at the parking lot, just unwrap that and then make your cast. Jig it a little bit. Let's give it another cast. And when you got one on guys, you want to jig it slow, possibly to get some more. Now I got one. I'm going to keep the tension in the line and reel very slow to see if we can't get another one. I think we got a couple now. Two or three on there. Three on there. And then we just remove them slowly. Oh no, those two got off. But we want to make sure the ones that we get are pristine like this guy and we're going to throw them in. Just like that. That's one bait, y'all. Let's get some more. Oh. 